Good evening, I'm Councillor Pete Marlon, I'm leader of North King City Council, um, and, and um, well, there are three decisions to be taken this evening. The meeting is being recorded, uh, but there's nobody here nor in the public gallery, so I will skip that part. Uh, there are the, the three decisions to be taken this evening, uh, one by Councillor Fuller, one by Councillor Hendren, and one by myself. The last of the decision, decisions contains a confidential annex, and that means that I need to resolve to exclude the press and public by virtue of paragraph three um, relating to the financial business affairs of the authority, part one, schedule 12A, Local Government Act 1976. However, we're only moving to private session if the contents of the annex are going to be discussed. I have no, um, no belief that I need to, and there are no members of the public or the councils here. Um, however, the, obviously the minutes will be published under the exempt rules. Uh, in addition to myself and others who have decided to join the meeting, uh, there are a number of officer colleagues uh, in the room from both legal and service-based um, service based dem and democratic services. Um, and I don't think we've, we've got a number of officers online. Uh, the spy of this evening's papers were available on mod.gov or the council's website. No members of the public speaking, no members of the council are registered to speak. Uh, can I remind Anybody who is online, can you please switch your cameras off as you're all done? And but if you want to contribute, uh, please switch your camera on and microphone on and leave it a few seconds. The senior sheet for this evening's meeting will be published on the modern mm -hmm. of council pages of the council's website no later than Friday, the 1st of November. I will now pass to Councillor Fuller to take over. Thank you, Councillor Marlins. So my <coughs> DV tonight is to seek permission to tender advocacy services for children and adults. This is uh, to um, bring in, uh, to seek a tender to cover ch both children and adults um, to for us to comply with several acts under the mental health and other things. Um, the, it will be for three years in the first instance and can be extended to two years. I don't believe there are any members of the public to speak. I don't believe there are any councillors to speak. Are there any officers online that wish to contribute to the discussion? I'll take that silence as a tacit agreement. Um, and I am happy in that case to take the decision. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor McCandler. Thank you. Um, my um, my item tonight is the initial considerations regarding biodiversity duty. Uh, this is something um, the, that has come in with check um, biodiversity in the Environment Act of 2021. Um, it, the paper essentially sets out things we're doing on biodiversity at the minute and what we might seek to do in the future. Um, an initial consideration of that. Some of the things um, involved our land management, education, um, continuing to work with partners and establishing um, a biodiversity fund um, and that education and, and citizen science piece as well is quite exciting. And um, this forms a, a range of, this forms part of a range of other um, movements on biodiversity, um, including measures in the new local power plan, which has been drawn up, and the local nature recovery strategy that we're doing with uh, Buckinghamshire Council, and um, a refresh of the council sustainability strategy that's going on at the minute as well. So um, quite a, an exciting time to be looking at um, having a refresh of what we're doing with regards to biodiversity in the city. Um, there aren't any members of the public or councillors present, so um, are there any officers who wanted to add anything? I no. Um, okay, uh, well, I am um, to take that decision then, and I will pass you back to Councillor Marlon. Thank you. Uh, the last item tonight is the creation of a child and mental, uh, mental health service and adult mental health fund within the Civic Office of Newton and Keynes. Uh, what the decision we'll do tonight is recommend to Council that £1.211 million is allocated to the Capital Fund to fund the Capital Works. That money will be repaid by CNWL. This programme is part of our ever-increasing wish to work closer with the NHS, uh, bringing some of these services on site will allow us to work, work, work 
both with the mental health teams, but on, on a cross-cutting basis with the council. Um, the final decision, because it lies outside of the budget framework passed in February by the council, um, will be um, for full council. Uh, what I would add is that the heads of terms have not been agreed yet, uh, so it is a provisional set, it is a provisional amount of money in the budget uh, that will be there if we agreed to proceed with the programme. And the final thing tonight is obviously we are tendering uh, for the contract of works and uh, once those tenders have been uh, made and submitted, uh, the Director of Environment and Property uh, will be able to um, sign that off for the most um, advantageous tender. Um, there are no officers or other, uh, there are no members of the public or councillors here to speak. I don't know if any officer wishes to add anything. <clears throat> no, fantastic. I will sign that um, as a decision and the meeting is closed at seven minutes past six.